I left my driveway at about 525 in the morning. 30 seconds later, at the end of my street, a fully loaded semi traveling 68 miles an hour ran through a red light, T-boned my car, pretty much ran over the top of my hood and into a tree. I was able to open the door all the while realizing that my leg was bending in places it should not bend. My leg was snapped in half. I have permanent nerve damage in both the leg that was snapped in half plus my hip and residual in my shoulder. The fibula never really healed together properly, so I have a permanently broken leg. Before the crash, I had taken a real determined control of my health and was exercising and being healthy, and I was happy with my body as it was. I have not been able to get back into running like I had. That's something that I really enjoyed because I was finally using my body the way it was meant to, and now it doesn't work that way anymore. My daughter uh, had PTSD. For a long time, she had nightmares, being scared that something was gonna happen to me or something was gonna happen to her father. After the crash, because of somebody else's decisions, I have restrictions that prevent me from doing things that I want to do. And it's hard to get back and I'm not sure that I ever will. Andy Young was the one who invited me to participate in what we both hope to achieve is to make the need for these reasonable safety measures viscerally concerning to lawmakers. Statistics are statistics and they're real, but I'm here to bring a face to it and say, hey, this is real. Let me show you what this does to a family. We don't hate truck drivers. We all have the same goal. We have reasonable measures of safety that are easily attainable, such as automatic braking systems, speed limiters, underride crash guardrails, adjusting the insurance minimum. The measures that we are discussing are both reasonable, doable, and vital to their families, their constituents, and our local economies.